Well, aloha from Hawaii again. Uh, today's DIY project is a how to preserve an Allen Edmonds shoe. I picked up this brand here because they are so fabulous and they're still made in America. America. They've been in business since 1922. Allen Edmonds is located in Wisconsin and uh, they have employed, uh, they, I think they have 500 employees on average and some of them uh, have been there for 10, 20, 30 years. When it comes to fine leather crafting on shoes, you really do need the gilded labor, the ones that have learned the techniques, and then you're, you're valuable. The company never wants to get rid of you, so it's really great. And I love this company. Uh, this shoe is uh, meant to be made to last, and I always recommend to gentlemen when they first buy their shoe is to apply this surface, which actually allows you to put wear on the shoe without breaking into the structure of the shoe. Uh, one of the nice things is this company actually has um, a welted sole, and that means it's a lifetime shoe. It's, it's a forever keeper. They also put a little bit of um, cork on the inside, and the cork actually heats and molds to your foot over time, making it extra comfortable and for you. Uh, for gentlemen who do buy Allen Edmonds and you want a full recrafting, I always recommend sending it back to the manufacturer, especially if um, they have specialty high-end items like this, because they will actually take off the, the heel, they will redo the cork on the inside, they restitch the whole sole. It's a pretty big recrafting project, and they actually use the same lass that they use to make the shoe. So, um, that's how you get your really high-end uh, recrafting. So on this shoe, I decided to just recommend to the gentleman just to do um, a topi half sole and heel. And the topi and sole is going to be something very similar to this, as you see here. Um, I've done this for this gentleman here, uh, the brown and the black. And uh, this was really quite a fun project. You'll see me do uh, the application process and the gluing, so that's great. And I hope that you'll... Uh, Give me any questions that you have in the comments. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see. And you can also subscribe to my channel, which is always great, for more info on shoes. And here we go. So I've just finished sanding these and preparing them. I have made a bit of a groove right here and sanded all of the edges flush so that when I put this piece on it, I'll set it right there inside that line. And at the end, it'll give me a very nice finish and they'll be nice and flush. And then I'm going to sand all of this down. You'll see that. I'm now going to make a pattern. So I take the heel that I've sanded nice and flush, place it on the material for which I'll be using, and just trace a nice line like that.
so here we are at the last step. <clears throat> I'm going to polish these shoes. Both of these are um, a leather with which uh, we can polish. Allen Edmonds um, is, has some specific leathers that get treated different ways. This one I'm going to use a cream polish and then I'm going to use a wax and I'm going to apply it with a t-shirt. Just an old cut up rag. And uh, this polish is a cream polish which actually conditions the shoe. It's like a moisturizer for the shoe. Plus it adds a little bit of color. So that's awfully nice. There we go, just like that. Nice. Do my use the wax. I'm using mahogany. The uh, cream conditioner was cognac. And you can order all of these um, supplies right from my website, terryedmonds.com. Go to shoe repair under DIY supplies. So this is a wax finish. And this is going to help protect the leather. And it still adds in some color and some richness, as you can see while it's applying. Get all the edges. Just like that. There you go. And I'm going to go ahead and buff it out now. So, using my horse, fine, really good horse hair brush here. I always like to say to bring the brush down and back so you actually create the friction that gives it the shine. There we go. And I will do the same to the last three pairs. So on this shoe, I decided to recommend to the gentleman just to do um, I told me half sole and heel, and it seemed to work out fine. He really loves them, and so there we go. I think he's going to like it.